And in the aftermath of the New Year's Eve attacks in Cologne, the city is setting up so-called safe zones for women during its big carnival that starts tomorrow. And remember this? We told you before about pamphlets distributed in Germany showing migrants how not to treat women. That's real. And onto that, more cartoon guidance distributed at public swimming pools wow. in Germany after reports of migrants groping women in the water. Judge, as I was reading through that, mm. I couldn't help but see your body language. You're disgusted by all of this. Well, I'm disgusted by it. I mean, first of all, did we just give $100 billion or $150 billion to Iran? Let them take them. Let Saudi Arabia take them. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem. This administration has no way to vet who these people are. ISIS has already said we're sending in our mm -hmm. people through the refugees. Now, what are you going to do? Call 1-800-Assad and say, look, I got this guy named Mohammed here, and he says he doesn't have a criminal record. Let's let him into San Francisco. No, no, no. And the idea that women need a safe place yeah. is if we are living in a country where Sharia law exists mm -hmm. yeah. in order to be able to go out to a carnival is an Outrage. That's the part. Others. That's the part that really got me. That that you're actually now going to go back in time by not just a few years, but by centuries. You're going to send us back into the seventh century, basically, and you're going to pin the victims in. You're going to make sure they're safe, but you're not going to deal with the guys who actually need a cartoon to tell them not to grab my booty. Yeah. Really? Well, you're not going to deal the with the problem. Right it's, it's the beginning of the end, and it's, mm -hmm. it's starting with Germany and it's going to keep on going. Even in my home country in Italy, there's a lot of problems there, too. People don't talk about Rome, but it's, in, it's completely like infested with, uh, with, with mm -hmm. people coming in and moving into neighborhoods oh. and living into homes and, and pushing people out and expecting that home to be yours all of a sudden. And, and the government doesn't want to kick him out, doesn't want to do anything. And then it's only spreading. You compound it with these sanctuary cities that we have in San Francisco. Well, that's why you pick San Francisco, I would imagine. Yeah, right? and you know, they're sending people in. Now, I was okay. reading an article today about how they're sending these refugees into Montana all right, because yeah. they want to so make Andrew, it. What